the state of Mississippi Papa was a copper and the mama was a hippie In Alabama she was swinging a hammer Price you gotta pay when you break the panorama She never knew that there was anything more than gold What in the world does your company take me for? What's going on everyone? Uh, so we've been kind of doing this vlog or whatever and you can kind of sound that I'm a little under the weather I've had sinus trouble going on but no big deal we'll get this done and we'll get it uploaded for y'all on YouTube <clears throat> I want to start off by the weekend that we had a race and it's kind of an exciting weekend we still had trouble in the 206 class but it's progressing and it's coming along and I'm seeing what I need to do to change on my car and with my driving to improve my better off performance I guess you would say but the exciting news is you, you'll see in these videos is that I ran dad's cart again and we finally got the first win so after a year and a half of racing 206s got very close finished second a couple times but finally got a win off my back in dad's cart and the limited modified racing against the Yamahas the first heat was very fun second heat was even better but we'll start off with the 206 class <laughs> I'll just do one quick thing about how to say it or what to say for the 206 all three races so we drew in the back to start the first race and I believe I passed a couple of carts and still finished towards the back but uh I figured out what I was doing wrong after I went back and watched the videos and I, I'm just I'm not running the cart hard enough I'm letting off the gas too much I'm not entering the right hander going into the left hander like I should but it all just take time and as I was talking to my teammate Michael he said that uh you know it's just gonna take time you know with experience it'll come with it so finished still towards the back in the first heat in the second heat we started up front I think it was first row outside so second and from when they dropped the green flag from when I hit the throttle I'm just it's not going and that's got to do with me I've got to hit the throttle sooner no matter if it's a yellow or a green or, or red or whatever the case may be I've got to get on it sooner to be able to go off and leave and try to keep better positions so in the second heat we fell back to fourth uh, Bowen Eli 
and Shannon, Michael's brother, which is another teammate of mine, got up beside me and got uh, past me, and we were being run down by Ricky Williams in the number six car. So, I mean, second heat wasn't that bad. Uh, in the third heat, we kind of, I had a game plan going into it that I was gonna be a whole lot better. I started off great. I had a better start in the last two races. And as the thing, the, which I started in the back, but as the first turn came up, somebody spun, got tangled with another cart, and it was just right in my line to go through the turn. So I, I spun as well. Two carts got back by me, but I still stayed ahead of two carts. And by the time I got back going and got a rhythm going, they were just really too far ahead to catch within the laps that we had. So it, it's learning. It's a, we're getting by. Everything's going, I guess, according to plan as far as experience goes. But they are racing this weekend. They've got a race tomorrow, which is Saturday today. It's Friday the 21st of uh, May. But I'm actually heading to Jackson to visit some family. So we, we won't be racing this weekend, but hopefully within the next couple weekends, we'll be back at it and hopefully we can go with an improvement.
as I mentioned in the very first bit of this video, that we finally got our first win. So as the first race uh, went on, I started in the back just for, you know, respect for the Yamaha 100s with me racing a limited modified. I'm not supposed to be competing because they're not gonna score us, but it's still just a fun race and compete. So that's what I decided to go out and do. And uh, another friend of mine, Ben Troxler, brought a limited modified and we were gonna play around a little bit, but he, uh, his gas tank was only two quarts and running off of methanol, it just drains it so quickly. So he ran with us a little bit and the cart that he's actually running is my dad's old cart, one of the speedy carts that him and Joel Phillips built, you know, way back when, like in the late 90s, early 2000s. So I told him, like he came up and asked me, he said, you recognize that cart? And I said, no, not really. He said, is it speedy cart? And he goes, your dad's cart. I said, man, that's awesome. I said, uh, you know, if you ever decide to, you know, sell it, um, all hands, I want it. I said, you know, being that it was dad's cart and that was what he always talked about was getting a cart built by Joel Phillips, which is a speedy cart, you know, that would be awesome just to have and, you know, hang on the wall. I don't care if it costs me $5,000 just to hang it on the wall. That's what I do want to do because I know it's not going to cost that much, but just to have something of his from back in the day would be really cool to have. So, uh, anyway, we got going, we started in the back. And we come up through the field, you know, really quick. Michael was racing with us and his uh, Burrell, it's got a white pods on it and everything. And he was just breaking in his motor. So he didn't really compete hard enough. He just wanted to run it to break it in and get it good and uh, ready to go for the next time we race. So he let us go by and we had some fun. We got up through the field pretty quickly and uh, within first place, you know, he was just way out ahead of us. So I ended up tracking him down, which I always drive better with more horsepower and being able to go faster. Excuse me. But uh, we come up and we literally, I, my bumper is at the, his back tire as we cross the finish line. So I thought that was really fun. And we're still dealing with some, you know, problems with it and everything, but I think I'll get it figured out within the next couple of races to know exactly what gear to run and how to adjust my carburetor so hopefully we can get that situated and done so as the second race came of course i started in the back again to work my way up and that it's just a whole lot of fun being able to come from the very back up to the front because you just you actually get to race people so we finished first and finished for, first by a good you know portion of carts and links but it was extremely fun uh hope to see y'all again to come out and support rebel raceway this weekend even though we're not going to be there i would love to see y'all you know come and participate maybe get into the karting uh world i guess you would say so i'm hoping within the next two or three weeks i know they're not racing next weekend so hopefully the weekend after that or the one after that Either one, two or three weeks, we'll be back at Rebel Raceway, Rebel Wait Raceway, if I can even say things right, but hopefully we'll be back. We'll be racing the 206 class. I don't think I'm going to take Dad's card again, uh, just to save it, and hopefully we won't outdo it, because eventually we're going to go to Barnesville and run it there. So hopefully with the next couple weeks, we'll be back at Rebel Raceway and putting on a show for y'all. Thank y'all, and I hope y'all actually come out and support uh, the track. For those people that are local, we're in Tupelo, Mississippi. The track is out of Saltillo. So hopefully y'all can come out and support us and see some fun and exciting racing. Uh, if y'all need to find out where the track is, I'm on Facebook. It's just Reed Williams. Uh, you'll actually see me in a go-kart as my profile picture but just send me a message ask for the uh directions to the track and we'll get them out to you thanks and i hope to see y'all there in a couple of weeks